Pressure. Let's talk about pressure, people. Pressure can do some incredible things, okay? Pressure can actually push people to do uh, extraordinary things, actually. Like, really push them beyond their limits. It can also break people. It can, it can, it can stress them out, you know? Uh, it can also, when applied correctly, uh, terraform an entire planet. And that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Planet Boobless. And we are going to be doing a little bit of work with pressure. Now, I do have a little bit of a conundrum, because we have, eh, we have a little bit of power, but eh, we have like a bunch of drip, we have a, well, we only have, I say a bunch, we have a, a few drills out there, and they take about the same amount of power, so I can add like six more drills. I wouldn't mind adding a little bit more than that, but for that we're going to need more power, okay? <laughs> And for that, we're going to need more reactors. Now, we are creeping up on 10 GTI. Do we unlock anything? I think I looked at this last time, uh, but my brain forgot last episode entirely, so we're going to just roll with it. <laughs> roll with uh, this one. We're uh, we're moving our way towards the uh, the breathable atmosphere, which would be fantastic if we could unlock that like ASAP. That's actually cooking along pretty well. Uh, we're going to increase that for sure. So pressure, just mental note, everybody. Pressure right now is at 41,140. All right, we're going to try to increase that in today's episode. Anything unlock at 10 GTI uh, for the terraformation? What's uh, what's the next thing that unlocks with the regular terraformation? The ooh, the teleporters. Ooh, 25 GTI. Okay, yeah. Let's work on pressure. Actually, hold on. Wait, does anything unlock with pressure? Uh, oh, the tier three ore extractor. Okay, and we've got quite a ways to go before we get there. We're only like a little over one thirteenth of the way there. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Heat is uh, everything's already unlocked with heat. Okay. Well, that was good. Oxygen. How's oxygen doing? What do we got? Oh, we got the water life collector. Interesting. 155 ppm. We're a little ways away from that. Okay, we're, we're almost there. We're almost to 8. Ways to go on that one. Okay, but the first thing that I want to do is hightail it out to the uh, sulfur mine, actually, of all places. Because if you look in my little sulfur chest right here, I got one. Ha <laughs> ha! One whole piece there. All right, I need to go check the sulfur mine because I need to get a couple more bits of sulfur and the iridium mine because if I'm going to be building some nuclear reactors, I need to be making this. All right, so I need to head out to the sulfur mine, and unfortunately, I don't have teleporters unlocked yet. We did break 10 GTI, so high five, everybody. Good job. We're going we're gonna to terraform this planet if, this, if it's the last thing that I do. I mean, to be fair, if I did screw up the terraformation of the planet, it probably would be the last thing that I do. <laughs> All right, here we are creeping up on the sulfur mine here, a little short flight away, and here we are. Need a bunch of sulfur, what do you got? Oh, you actually do have a bunch of sulfur, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to take the rest of this and just kind of destroy it, because I needed to grab, I, this one, this mine specifically, I'll keep the iron, this mine specifically, I needed to get as much um, sulfur as possible, so I'm, I'm gonna empty out that stuff. I'm not really worried about changing that into super alloy, because same, kind of same thing with this thing, actually. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of go over here and destroy some of the stuff. Because I, I'm, I'm more interested in the sulfur than I am the, making super alloy out of any of this. Alright, with my inventory chock full of sulfur and iridium with a couple bits of iron. And of course silicon, because remember, I'm kind of out of that. Since I uh, sort of used it all to make a railing on the giant walkway. <laughs> uh, I didn't actually finish that railing either, but we'll get to that in due time. But let's fly our, our little happy butt back and, uh, and we'll, get to, uh, we'll get to making up some explosive powder. Uh oh, we have some uh, we have some osmium raining in on us right now. Looks like I got back just in the right at the right time here. Now osmium is always good, but we actually have a mine for that right now, so I'm not actually really. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about the osmium. I mean, waste not, I guess, but uh, but in reality, I just I just don't need it really. So I think I'm just gonna not worry about it. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go make a whole bunch of explosive powder. Right, I turned all of that sulfur into explosive powder, and we have seven seven bits of it. So that, that's good. That's a really good thing. Okay, so it's going to take uh, some water to make all these uh, reactors. And actually, you know what? You know what? Let me get back inside so I don't get hit in the face. But uh, let's uh, let's think about this for a second. I think last episode, if my memory serves me well, I was complaining about wanting to make a couple more of these things out where the superfood is being made. That one sounded really close. Where the superfood is being made, that had to just barely miss me. Uh, I, was, I was talking about uh, b b wanting to get uh, more food growers going, growing beans. 
out there where the superfood is growing. Why don't I actually do that? What do I need to make a couple of these things? I need some fertilizer, super alloy, and a water bottle. All right, let's make, uh, I'm gonna make at least two more. I wanna get at least double the production of superfood out there. So fertilizer, we need some eggplants, some salt. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, I mean, I could always recycle. Yeah, actually, I'll recycle one of these explosive powders and then that'll give me two sulfur and that's kind of what I need. So let's just kind of eat one of these things in there and boom, shoot that in there. Grab the sulfur. All right, I need two. I need four eggplants though. So uh, farm, farm, come here. I need to talk to you, farm. Hi, farm. All right, let's actually harvest you while I'm here. I need uh, I need four of you eggplants actually. So we're gonna put all of you in there and just grab out a couple of you there. All right, and then we'll harvest the rest of the stuff here too, just to make sure that we uh, we keep uh, growing as much of this stuff as possible. Because uh, if we ever need it for bulk crafting in the future, which I have a hunch we're going to need to, uh, at least we'll have a whole bunch of this stuff already grown. Uh, the reason why I have a hunch as to why we're going to need that is because I like to make things stupid. And so I'm going to probably need a whole bunch of material. All right. And then it looks like algae is the only other thing we need. Now, do we have any algae or do I have to go jumping off the platform? Oh, yeah. We got some algae. So let's, uh, let's see. What is that? Five, six. Uh, that should be enough to make two fertilizer. And we can get these things going. We can get more beans being made. All right. So we got those. We don't need this piece of iridium in our inventory. But what, el what else do we need to make these things? Uh, super alloy. That's all we need. So we need one bottle of water we can stash for right now. Oops, I'm on the wrong side of the advanced crafting station. Put that away, and then let's go and grab super alloy. <laughs> Almost went right past it. Okay, we should have everything we need except for the beans. We need the beans. Uh, let's. I think. Uh, I think I still have them up here. What? We no, no. I moved them. Where did I move these things to? Oh, I think I moved them into the farm. <laughs> my, my memory. <laughs> Seeds. All right, there we go. Let's grab a couple of bean seeds. Perfect. All right, and then let's get on over to the uh, the beehives, and we're gonna collect uh, whatever superfood is there. And then, oh, this is a long hallway. We're gonna collect whatever superfood is there, and then this is the bee in, in the insect hallway, actually. And then we're gonna probably stash it in the um... oh cheapers. Oh, those are regular meteors to fly. Fly quickly. Hopefully, I don't get hit by one of those things. Can you imagine that getting nailed out of midair by a meteor? That would suck. Okay, I made it in here. Let's see. Let's grab the superfood out of here. Not much going. So this is basically waiting on them to grow because these guys have honey in them already. So this will help alleviate that just a little bit uh, because this will uh, this will basically double the production. So let's go ahead and put that right there. It's a little hard to place when everything is shaking. <laughs> put that right there. Squash that bee. All right. And then we're gonna put the seed in there. Put the seed in there. There. That should double the production. I can probably squeeze. Another two in here too, and that should it'll almost fill this thing up in one go, which is pretty awesome. Uh, at this rate, hey, we're looking at it having to grow twice, two growth cycles of the beans, and this will be completely full, which isn't too bad. Hmm. I have a problem. I almost got barricaded in here, so let me just hop out of here real quick so that I, I'll dodge the meteors, I guess. This is just the bog standard meteors. Oh, is that blocking the entrance up ahead? That's a little unfortunate, too. Bog standard meteors. So I'm not really interested in actually doing too Oh, hello, beautiful. I'm not really interested in doing uh, too much with these things either because, uh, I mean, they're just standard stuff. The best I can get out of that is aluminum. Can I go up and over this thing? Ha <laughs> I'm inside. Okay, let's run this explosive powder out to the uh, nuclear facility. And we'll drop off some of this high-quality food inside of our trade rocket, too, on the way there. I can always move this trade rocket closer to the superfood later. I really got to unlock drones, but those are kind of at a little distance away. Oh, sulfur. Yeah, absolutely. I forgot that they dropped sulfur. Maybe I should have gone and got those things. I mean, I'll grab some osmium if it's available. But we'll do that, and then maybe we'll just stash it in one of these lockers. Yeah, we'll stash the stuff in there for right now, just to keep my inventory open. All right, let's head to the nuclear facility. I'm going to stop <laughs> stop off <laughs> inside of the sand falls ah, here real quick just to yoink all of that because I have a feeling that that, <laughs> that is going to come in real handy for me uh, for making uh, nuclear reactors. Ah. Similarly, I'm going to stop off here. Now, that thing just crafted. Uh, I'm going to stop off here and grab whatever regular super alloy is available. I just crafted one. Because we need to make seven of these things, and I think each one of these reactors takes uh, a piece of super alloy. So yeah, there's that. Now this thing is totally full, so we're gonna have to empty this out a little bit. 
uh, said this thing can keep on collecting super alloy. And I did find that if I just stash them in here, they can still use it. It looks like they're getting a little low on aluminum, actually. Huh. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to do an aluminum run, too, uh, on the way back, probably. I'll do that. Let's get a breath of fresh air before we die. Okay. Now, onward to the nuclear facility. Oh, hello, butterfly? Butterfly, Feor, Feor, I can't read it, let me pick it up. Uh, Feor, a 600% multiplier, that's what it is. Uh, oh, hello, beautiful. Look at that, we found a butterfly out here. That's kind of cool. I mean, I guess we are in the insect level. Oh, hello, rare, beautiful. We are in the insect level. Ugly, ugly, don't care about that thing. Uh, so, it, with us being in the in insect level, we can probably find some pretty unique and rare butterfly larvae just chilling around on the ground. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, there it is, the outdoor farm. I just put those things inside the, by the bee area. That just completely makes that null and void. <laughs> yep, fell down in the cave here. Uh, okay, so yeah, we, we could just go replace all of those uh, indoor farms, or indoor, uh, these things. Uh, the gr food grower. We can replace all those with one outdoor farm and we're, we're set for life. Okay, so we'll do that when we get back. Uh, let's see, bugs for right now here. Get in there and get radiated. It's gonna be like the next Godzilla, I swear. Hey, before we actually get too carried away, I don't need to actually grab the water through, by going up here, I could just grab it through the roof. But, uh, before we get too carried away, iron, iron, where's the water one? Water, water, there's water. Before we get too carried away, remember, if you guys do, it's a little nighttime, so it's a little hard to see. If you guys remember, uh, I think I put a drill up here <laughs> a while ago. You guys said that you can mine on top of the mine here and yeah I did I put a drill right here I forgot about this completely it's actually oh, look at all of that holy cow let's grab everything out of there okay so that's a that's a that's a lot of uh, uranium all right I need it in rod form I can do that myself I suppose uh, where's the ladder ladder please there it is all right um, let's take a quick peek at power right here uh, 221 is what we have let's see if we can't bump that up a little bit oh I have just enough super alloy out here. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, just barely have enough. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I want that too. Let's take that out and throw that in there. That's for building the platform as we build this tower taller. Uh, Alright, so we have this, that, but we have two. We need, uh, how many do we need to build six of these things again? It takes three each. So we need, what, uh, six, uh, simple, 18. We need 18. <laughs> simple math. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get 18 to be honest. Yeah, we're we have enough for one. Okay, so it, it's that old. Oh, yeah, these are all full. That's why. All right, let's start. Let's start destroying some stuff. Everything except for the iron is getting just destroyed, including the silicon because I just I don't have enough room for it. So I'll I'll get more later. Okay, everything's been cleared out. I think this actually made another rod. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. I don't. I I, I let that run for a little while, and I totally forgot that uh, <laughs> that they were completely full. So, okay, so we got a problem with making six of these things. We can't do it, but we can make one, and that should give us a little bit more power. We'll see where that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Just don't listen to me sometimes. All right, just sometimes. Sometimes I'm a big old da da da. All right, we have a we have a bunch of rods there. Okay, let's. <laughs> Let's get another locker place here, though, because we got a whole bunch of iron. I am going to need this iron as the tower gets taller, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to... Actually, that was... I just used all that. Just make that right there. Let's just grab all these things out of here. Uh, let's see. How many do we need? We need one, two, three. Let's start off by just doing three for right now, and then, uh, and then we'll grab another batch to do three more. So one, two, three... Okay, yeah, that's good, because I, I don't think we can hold the ingredients for the rest of them. All right, so let's get over here and add a whole bunch. Yeah, I'm going to add a total of six. A total of six uh, nuclear reactors here. What is it? 221 watts was what we had, so kilowatts. So let's, uh, let's see what this does. Okay, that is six more nuclear reactors. Let's go check the power. All right, power level, that, that, that bumped it up by like times 10 right there <laughs> power level is now 2210 we can make a few more drills now with that now i think tier 4 is the best we can do right now so ooh, we're gonna need some super alloy which we can get we got quite a fair a fair amount of that what am i putting down like 10 of these drills today if i can basically almost over doubling our production if we can so 
We're gonna need like 30 osmium for that. That's gonna be a lot. 60 super alloy, yeah, it's gonna be a lot. It's a lofty goal, I, hopefully I can reach it. But I'm not gonna reach it here. Uh, hold on one second, is, is that even feasible? 10 of these, is that 455? Uh, energy so yeah we should be, we should be fine we should be fine all right so 10 of these is what I'm gonna aim for it is a sandstorm and I am gonna fly back through it and get back to my base so I can start grabbing some stuff but I am gonna hit up the super alloy mine on the way back I got some stuff I got to bring back here and I'm also gonna hit up the sulfur mine again and then of course the osmium mine because we need more osmium if we're gonna be building a whole bunch of these drills all right super alloy mine what do you got for me in here that's what I'm talking about all right that's awesome uh, oh, we were going to hit up the aluminum mine, weren't we? Yeah. We should probably do that, actually. Okay. Okay, yeah. Come on. Detour. Detour, people. I really do have to do this. Let's throw everything in here so we can grab as much aluminum as possible. Let's go grab as much aluminum as possible. Move it back. Sometimes This is going to suck because it's so far away, but I, I got to do it because we're running out of it in, the, in there. And it's kind of an important thing. I also might want to grab enough iron to make another locker for just the junk stuff because that's kind of overflowing. I need to get a shredder out there, because even though I am turning that stuff into super alloy, it's it's kind of, it's not coming out right, like the ratios, so I'm having an excess of stuff. So I might have to, oh, that's a, that's a pulsar. That's a pulsar meteor, they're super loud. Okay, it's coming right at me, right? Now. Okay, we're gonna have to take cover for a second. That's a pulsar meteor. That's a good thing to find. The reason why I haven't been making the pulsar generators is because they, uh, I don't have enough pulsar. But that is definitely a Pulsar Meteor. That's the first one of this season. Look at it, it's beautiful. And boom, there it is. Now I think that only drops one. I think there's only one that comes in that's underwater. We're going underwater, let's go get it. There it is right there, grab it, grab it, grab it. Let's see, any more, grab it, grab it. Uh, I think there's usually like six-ish pieces that drop from this thing. I might have to wait for some of this stuff to disappear. Uh, to get it all. Ooh, there's one right there. That's four. Ooh, there's five. Okay. Usually, like I said, usually I think it's six that drops in this. Aha! Found it. Six. Alright, I, I, I got them all. Oh, that's pretty cool. I will gladly take more Pulsar whenever I get a chance to get it, because that stuff is going to be super valuable, especially once we unlock the teleporters. But, I mean, if it keeps raining Pulsar down on me, I can start using it to make the generators, which produce a lot more energy than nu the nuclear reactors. Uh, so, oh, uh, uh, aluminum. I was going, going for aluminum. I got wildly distracted. All right, aluminum, what do you got for me? Oh, well, you got a bunch there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, sweet. Loading up on that completely as much as I can carry. Do you have any iron by any chance? We're going to need a couple bits of iron if we actually have that. All right, so we'll let that continue to run. Did you make anything in here? No, not yet. All right, we'll let you keep running. I'm going to go run this back to the super alloy mine. All right. Uh, let's just stash this other uh, chest, probably just right behind everything right there. This is going to be another aluminum chest. So we're going to just uh, we're gonna go have a weapon. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Aluminum. Uh, aluminum. I know. I know. I know. It's, got, it's got an eye in there. You know, you know. <laughs> let's just stash all that in there. Let's take, uh, actually, this isn't aluminum, is it? This is a junk chest. I don't think it really matters. Let's just throw everything in there, and then it'll, it'll figure itself out. Um, because it's an autocrafter. It's pulling from it. Speaking of which, did it pull from it anymore? Did you do anything? Oh, you have done something. All right, we'll grab all that. And that, we'll just, uh, I know that I could leave it in here and let it do its crafting thing, but we're just going to take it. We're just going to steal it. We're just going to do it. We're going to go for it. All right, let's take all of this, and... Not all of that. Hold on. I was like, what is this stuff doing? Some of that stuff I don't care about. All right. The rest of the stuff we'll take back. Let's go see how much osmium we have in the osmium mine. And then we're going to bring that back. And the sulfur mine. Ooh, actually, you know what? We got. We do have a. We do need a little bit more inventory space. Sorry. Sorry, Autocrafter. Sorry. Here, you can have this back. Take all this stuff back. Thank you. Hopefully, you make a nice alum or nice uh, super alloy rod out of that stuff. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Yeah, sorry. Let's grab everything other than the sulfur for right now. And then we're going to throw all of it in there, including the iron, because I need the space. I feel bad about that, but we'll just do that for right now. Grab all the sulfur. Ooh, that's a, that's a full inventory. I'm going to have to maybe make a couple trips here, because I do want to get as much sulfur back to the base as possible. 
Uh, but I also need to grab some osmium here if I'm going to be making drills. So this might require a little bit of running around. Yeah, there's a lot of osmium in here too. Okay. Yeah. All right. I gotta, I gotta quickly get back, uh, dump my inventory, and then head right back out here so I can grab all the osmium and all the sulfur that's still out there. Home sweet home. I don't have any time to sit and celebrate though because we got stuff to do today. So let's uh, sort all this stuff. I do have this bug. I do have this bug. Hold on. Let's just uh, blah, blah, blah. let's snag a few pieces of this. And then, oh, I think it's raining. Then we're gonna go upstairs and we are going to set this kind of in the insect area so that I can start stashing this stuff. Now, what kind of bugs do I have in uh, our uh, butterfly dome here? These these pretty things? Let's see, what are you? 200 some multiplier? Okay, so you're one of you guys, guys getting taken out here. Getting replaced, whoa! I found that thing in a desert. That is nuts. It's a colorful butterfly, holy cow. An acid trip for your eyeballs. All right, uh, I guess we're stashing this one instead. I still need to make the other butterfly wings. I also still need to make the, uh, the incubators here. I, I thought I was going to do that, and I, I didn't. I, I mean, I guess I don't really really need four of them at a time. I could actually turn this into a storage area, but I guess I kind of always thought I was going to do that here. So <laughs> uh, let's just put this in the back here, and this will be uh, butterfly larva, lar larvae, larves. There it is, larva. All right, sweet. There, you're the only one in that whole entire chest. Got a fair amount of pulsar actually going. So when it comes time to make the teleporters, we're gonna be we're gonna be sitting pretty. All right, sulfur, get in there. All right, sweet, we got a little bit of sulfur. Let's go grab some more, and of course the uh, the osmium. The deafeningly loud rain. Uh, thank God I'm gonna be flying into a cave here. All right, osmium. Uh, let me take everything other than osmium out of here. Actually, let me just take everything. We're going to uh, go destroy some of that stuff. We have a shredder over at the sulfur mine, so uh, that'll open up the osmium uh, mine to keep on mining up as much of those beautiful blue rocks as possible. Let me just uh, yeet, 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 and yeet, and we'll keep the iron this time because, you know what, I might actually be able to bring it back. Let's take everything out of that, and throw that in there too. Goodbye. Let's check the iridium mine while we're out here anyways. I mean, might as well, it's right here. Grab that, grab as much as we can, actually put all that back, grab everything that's not iridium in the iron. And uh, we're going to go and destroy that, and then we'll grab the iridium, and then we're flying back to base. Okay, so I said that I wanted to build 10 drills in this episode. I'm still sticking to that. Uh, what, did, what did we get there? We got 10, 5, 15. We got 15 osmium. Uh, oh, that's half of what we need, right? Because we need 30 osmium. I kind of overshot my exit there, but we need 30 osmium to make this, right? Because 10 drills and each drill takes uh, three osmium. So yeah, we just collected half of the osmium that we need. Now we're past using cheaty osmium. We we don't even need that anymore. Look at us go. We're getting we're getting better. We're doing better. We're doing better, people. <laughs> so, the question is, is do we have enough osmium to make this? I, I'm pretty sure we have enough super alloy. We got a lot of rods stashed away, so I can always break those things down. So we need 60 super alloy. But I also need to move this stuff out to <laughs> its appropriate place. So he, there's, there's that. Now let's stash the iron in here, and let's go put away the uh, the iridium as well. And then we're also going to put away the uh, sulfur, and then we're going to start looking into how much osmium do we have. Basically, we need almost an entire inventory. None in there. That's always fun. There's a whole bunch. There's okay. We got a bunch. We got a bunch. Let's dump everything into there. Minus this. All right. So that is that's that's thirty. That's all the osmium we need. Now I am going to grab a bit of food before I die. I just eat a bean. Uh, and probably empty out the water collector too because we're gonna it's just still not placed correctly it's so like <laughs> that means it doesn't fall off the edge um, let's grab everything out of that too because I need as much water as possible I need that to keep on keep on doing its thing uh, nuclear reactors take a lot of water so I gotta keep remembering to empty those but I think I'm gonna run this out to the um, out to the sand falls fob because that's where I'm putting all these drills and then we're gonna come back and grab ourselves a bunch of super alloy. Let's see, can I do this smart? Can I take the rods and break them down? What does it take to make one of these recycling machines again? Stuff. It takes stuff, but it takes five stuffs, and I have five spots. 
Hmm. Hmm. I could probably do that. Microchip. Uh, let's do uh, two tier, uh, two deconstruction microchips. Let's see make those up real fast. I forgot how to make those things. What do we do? Okay, it's just silicon and magnesium. Got it. All right, we got the deconstruction chips, and then we just need three super alloy. Yeah, we can do this. That way I can just bring the rods out there, and I don't have to worry about, uh, about like, inventory space. Because right now I can only bring these uh, osmium, rod, or osmium pieces out here one at a time. But it looks like if I do it this way, I can bring a rod with me, which has eight super alloy in it. So I would only need how many... Eight. I don't know why that was so hard for me to do with eight. I play Minecraft. That would be 64 uh, Super Alloy. <laughs> so, all right. So let's get out to the Sandfalls fob and then uh, dump out the dump off this material in a chest that I'm really hoping is available out there, and <laughs> and then we'll uh, then we'll run back and grab the Osmium rod or the uh, the Super Alloy rods as well. Ah, the sand falls fob. I'll bring back the water, too. Why not? Uh, there is a spot for this stuff here, which is good. All right, and then uh, let's put the uh, deconstruction thingy, my jabber, recycling machine. I don't think I can actually put that in here. Can I place this outside on the ground? No, I can't. All right, well, I better fit this in here, then. There we go. Right there. I have to stand outside to use it, but whatever. <laughs> All right, now I need to go grab eight uh, uh, super alloy rods. Actually, seven super alloy rods, right? Because that would be 56, and then I can just grab four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's go and take these and start breaking them down. Not right here. What am I talking about? That's that's the problem. I was going to have an overloaded inventory. All right, then one, two, three, four. That should be enough to make all of these drills. Now, ten of them, huh? So let's take a quick peek again real fast. Oh, one. Uh, let's check. So we're over 15% of the way to the breathable atmosphere. That is amazing. All right, so I cannot wait for that to unlock. I'm going to go look for that thingy then once that unlocks so I don't have to worry about, you know, dying and suffocating and stuff. All right, so biomass and uh, pressure right here. So 41,140 is what we're at. Let's go put down a bunch of drills. All right, so here we are. We have six drills so far. These things are pretty big, and they make quite a bit of noise. They also generate a, quite a bit of heat. I don't remember what my heat was, but that's going to get a boost too, so... Uh, oh, check this out. Look at that. Plant boldness. I was looking for those earlier. There's one just sitting here next to my base. Is there another one anywhere? I wouldn't mind grabbing a couple more of those things. I think I can make some pretty sweet trees out of those. Um, I don't see any more. No, I don't see any more. All right. That's fine. That was that was like a nice little treat. Hopefully that's not a glitched one. Uh, all right. So let's, uh, let's start breaking down some of these. Ooh, I'm going to need... I need iron. Can I, can I get, my, get a couple more pieces of iron, please? Awesome. All right, so there's always iron to be found around here, I guess. Uh, the reason being is because i got to fit another locker in somewhere. Uh, I don't think I can squish it in there. because the, this, this recycling machine here, can I fit it right here on the side here? Oh, yeah, I can. Just barely. All right. Put it right there. I know that's kind of crappy, but uh, I just need to clear my inventory so I can actually grab some of this stuff. Okay, I have a feeling I am going to run out of storage space here before I actually can break these three remaining ones down. So why don't we why don't we stash the three remaining ones and get the materials ready to make? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, let's get enough materials to make three of these things. All right, so three at a time. It's going to take three different trips, but let's continue this line of drills. Actually, maybe we'll make our what is that? That's six. Yeah, we'll continue the line a little bit here. Let's start putting down more drills here. Two. And three. All right, there we go. Fly on back to our little breathable area here. Grab enough material to do that again. Fly back out over here. I guess we'll start making a new row now that we hit the, the fog or the sand falls falling down there. And we'll do it right here. We'll start bringing this back. All right, so that's six, but we can still do better than that. I mean, that just doubled whatever we just uh, whatever we had in production before. All right, let's grab the super alloy rods again. Start breaking these things down. Start picking all this crap up, and start placing uh, three more drills. One, two, three. 
All right, that leaves us with three osmium and one more to go, and that'll be 10 drills in this episode. That's what I said we were gonna do, and I had my mind set on it. All right, so 10 drills is actually really good. We could probably do a little bit more, to be honest, but um, ooh, let's uh, let's see, hold on. Hello, super beautiful. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> didn't want to just blast that thing into the core of the earth. There we go. All right, so that's number 10. Uh, another hello, beautiful, oh, super beautiful. Uh, that's an ugly one, don't care about that. Ah! Another butterfly one, 600 multiplier. Ooh, that one's better than what I got at the my butterfly dome, that's for sure. Oh, look at that, there's another one. Holy cow, everywhere. I gotta keep my eyes peeled for these things, actually. I, I wonder if I blew past some of them before. Huh. I probably did. Look at this, here's another rare larva. There, these things are just everywhere. There's all, all sorts of good stuff out here. Oh, hello, beautiful. Ah, beautiful. We found butterfly larva, plant boldness, put down 10 drills. It's incredible stuff. All right, so let's go check our um, let's go check our stats again. After I'm like so focused on finding larva now. Oh no, that was just a speck of nothing. Never mind. Uh, let's go check our stats again. After we grab everything that we can, I'll leave the aluminum here. I'll move that. Uh, I'll move that to one of the other mines. Ooh, hold on, we got a sandstorm. I don't suppose it is. It's another pulsar. I can't actually see it. We gotta get up above the sand real quick. Oh, it's coming right at me over here. Okay, so let's get off to the side. Uh, yeah, another pulsar meteor. That is awesome. I have room to grab it, so might as well, and then we'll head back to base. Boom! All right, pulsar, pulsar, pulsar. Catch, 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 catch. Got one, got one. Ooh, look at that. That's nice and pretty pink. Grab that. Are we up to three? So there should be three more. Two more. One more. Oh, I got two, actually. Hold on, there's seven. There's seven in that one. Maybe, I thought it was always six, but there's seven in that one. Maybe it's either six or seven, or do it, did I miss a piece of pulsar back there? I might want to go check. Eight. Eight. Ooh. Six to eight, maybe? Ooh, and that, oh, nine. I can't reach that one. Oh, I can. Nine? Holy cow. I don't think the last one left a, uh, a big uh, purple rock, a big pink purple rock in my, uh, my land here, but that'll that'll disappear too. But that was what was it? Uh, three, six, nine. I found nine of them there, uh, and that meteor that was insane. I didn't realize that it, it dropped that much. I kind of want to go check the other crash site real fast and see if I left any pulsar there because it's going to be super valuable coming up here real soon. Plus, I want to check to see if there's any rods made, which there is. Go grab those. All right, now the other. Pulsar Meteor landed somewhere over here in the water. Speaking of water, I'm going to want to get a little sip of this before I die of dehydration. Sip, sip. All right, let's go see if we can find where this Pulsar Meteorite landed again. I want to say it was in this body of water. We need to start looking in here just a little bit and seeing if there's anything left. Uh, ah, there is. So it's not a wasted trip, people. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Not a wasted trip at all. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's this cool butterfly under the, under the water, too. Definitely not a wasted trip. Well, that was pretty awesome. Um, all right, I do have a little bit of inventory space left. Like, not much, but I do have a little bit left. So I think I'm going to just hit up uh, one of these mines. Maybe the sulfur one. Sulfur seems to be the big thing, so I'll grab some sulfur on the way through here. And actually, real quick, check this out. I will grab some stuff that's not iridium. And I will destroy it all, so that it leaves more room for iridium to be collected. And I'll grab the sulfur. And actually, hold on, let me let me empty this up stuff that's not sulfur, so that I can uh, grab more later. I gotta just keep on that at all times. All right, and I'll grab that. I'll leave the iron there. Sure, we got some sulfur. All right, let's get back to base. Let's uh, let's get back to oxygen first. Okay, let's get back to base. You know, with all this running around here, we did gain, like, uh, two GTI completely just doing this. So it's not going to take too long to get to the uh, the teleporters, which will save me a ton of time. Because that's a 25 GTI, and we're, like, halfway there now. So almost halfway there. 
but uh, we're getting there quicker every time I do something to boost the terraformation. So it's it's possible we're gonna get there real fast. I mean, we were we were what early stages of uh, the breathable atmosphere, and we're already at almost 18 percent. So that's pretty good. Uh, what did that do for pressure? Oh boy. Okay. So what was that at? 41,000. It is now at 87,040. So yeah, that was a pretty big boost. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. We can do better than that though, because like that. That was not a stupid amount of boost, was it? I mean, that was a decent amount of boost. That was definitely not a stupid amount of boost. Uh, Pulsar, where are you? Right here. Let me let me throw that in there. I've almost got a full locker full of that stuff. That's incredible. I'm gonna have to use some of that. Um, let me sort my inventory real fast, and then I'll, let's let's do a little beard scratch then, and think about what we're gonna do. Well, I do know one thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna swap out this uh, yellow butterfly with these green ones because it's, uh, the yellow butterflies up here they're actually this white larva. Do 230% per <clears throat> multiplier. These do 600. So, as you can see, uh, they're colorful. They're like tie dye almost. This is crazy. Look at these things. Can I can go into land? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. He is very colorful. It's like a weird monarch butterfly. <laughs> All right, so that definitely boosts this quite a bit. We're up to 240 G per second for the insects. That's nuts. Awesome. Uh, I still have to add more butterfly domes. I'm uh, really going to get on that. What goes in those things? Oh, yeah. It's fertilizer tier 2. I think I could do all that stuff. Probably next episode we might focus a little bit on bugs again. Because I got two of these things that I can add into another one of the domes, which would be nice. Uh, you know what else would be nice is actually not dying of starvation. I am collecting, like, uh, cocoa beans and wheat as well. And stash that whenever I remember to. <laughs> I should go harvest the farm too. I got to keep up on that because I'm going to need a lot of material when that time comes. I guess first eat, first eat some food. Yeah, this is growing swimmingly now. I could obviously upgrade this. I just I just built this place not too long ago. I could upgrade this even further now by adding the uh, outdoor farms, which, which would just produce even more stuff. Uh, each outdoor farm I think produces like six or something like that. Oh, ah, those don't go in there. Uh, they produce a whole bunch more food. Then what, um, is that, is that mushroom thing ever going to go away? Oh boy. F8 bug report. Yeah, so the outdoor farms, it's, that's going to be there forever. Can I see it through my, oh yeah, I can see it. That's going to be really annoying. One second, let me, I'll probably have to re-log. Press F8 to give feedback, it says. Yeah, well, that, that's one, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes when you look at items, they, the, the little icon thing just stays there forever and ever. Uh, alright, oh, I got all these. Oh, did I just empty the chest in my inventory like a big old dot? I'm pretty sure I did. Is there like nothing in here? Wrong chest. Yeah, I did. Da -da -da. All right, sweet. All right, so we harvested the farm now. What do I do? I could probably make more drills. Not gonna lie, I could probably make a couple more drills. And I, I, I wouldn't mind it. Oh, I hear a windstorm. Please tell me this is something that's not gonna blow me up. Uh, I wouldn't mind it because I wouldn't mind trying to get that to like a, a hundred, a hundred thousand if I could. <laughs> Break it into another integer over here. So, and do I have the power to do that? I do have the power to do that. Do I, I think I have the resources to do it. What if we go and put down like three more drills? Well, I wonder what that would do. Let's let's grab the inventory for three more of those drills, and we're gonna go slap them down out of the sand falls. All right, sandstorm or no sandstorm, I am going. I want to I want to break into a hundred thousand with the with the pressure if I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right. So I have, I have, I have the material. I don't see why I don't just do this. Right, let's let's push for it. So this will be 13 drills. Lucky number, 13 drills this episode. Now I took the the scenic route this time because I want to grab everything out of here. And I gotta show you. Let's, uh, yeah, I'll grab everything out of there. All right. Now let's go put down some of these drills. I'll have more inventory space on the way back. I can empty out these drills then, uh, or these ore extractors, so that they can keep collecting resources. Ah, the sand falls. We will fill this valley with drills again. It's just a matter of time. Okay, there's three more drills. Did that break the 100,000, though? That's the question. Million dollar question. Um, I don't know if it's going to or not. That's, that's it's quite a... Uh, let's go just check. Let's go check. Let's go hit up the mines. I, I didn't do the math at all to figure out whether or not that would actually, would actually do it. I don't know, because <laughs> we have a multiplier going too with the rockets that we have in space. <laughs> so, not sure really, but let's go check the drills. Let's go grab some of this uh, 
Actually, let's go empty out the rest of the osmium. Bring that over to the sulfur. Shred it, where we have the shredder there. And then, uh, I, I swear I picked this place clean. Really, I did. Um, and then we'll open up more room for more osmium to be, be mined as well. And then we'll grab all the good stuff that we can here, and then we'll head back. All right. We got a lot of iridium. We got a, quite a bit of sulfur, a little, or a little bit of sulfur, a couple bits of iron, and we got some more osmium that we can take back, as well as some water. The water, like I said, is important for building nuclear reactors, so <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm always grabbing that. Uh, I need to, did I ever unlock the lake collector? Lake water collector, I did. I should probably get one of those things out of the super, uh, or out of the uh, nuclear facility. That would make a lot of sense, because uh, we only have one atmospheric water collector out there right now, and uh, that's what's building all of these nuclear reactors. <laughs> Uh, push to the limit a little bit. I, I keep pulling the water right out of the, the ceiling and, uh, and I think we could probably go with using a lake water collector since there is water right there after all. Alright, did we break 100,000? Billion dollar question right here. Did we break 100,000 for pressure? Oh yeah, we did. Just barely. 100,810. Awesome. We are almost 20% of the way to the breathable atmosphere. We are just cooking along. Alright, so we have jacked up the pressure big time. What was it? 14,000 when we started? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, almost, it's it's quite a bit more, eight times more or something like that. It's kind of nuts. All right, so we've done a lot of work then. That means just in the short period of time, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting to the tier five heaters. I'm going to be there, and more importantly, I'm going to be getting to this thing, teleporter twenty five. We're we're over halfway there now. Let's go. We, we're going to do that. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here though because we did a lot of work. I think uh, I think maybe we'll focus a little bit more on insects. Next, uh, next episode. I want to finish off getting the other two branches, uh, other two uh, butterfly domes put in. So, alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. I'll be back next week with more uh, Planet Crafter fun for you guys to enjoy. So if you did enjoy it, please go down and hit that like button. It helps me out a ton before you get out of here. Now, I want you guys to have a positive mindset going into the week. It's Monday. I know, Mondays suck. But you know what? They suck for everybody. <laughs> I don't know if that's really motivating. It's supposed to be motivational. All right, have yourself a wonderful week, you guys. Chin up. Let's go. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.